Remember how I said I was ready to move on to my next LP? Actually, I was lying. <coughs> you see, we still have one more thing we need to do here in Kanto. Before I can bring myself to my next order of business. Now, first of all, I showed the opening because here's something weird. The game automatically saved and we start back in Pallet Town? What's up with this? Red, you should take a quick rest. No one seems... <clears throat> Your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Okay. She doesn't seem to really say anything about it. What about Oak? Good to see you. How is your Pokedex coming? Let me take a look. 127 Pokemon, scene 43 owned. Looking good. Go find my aid when you get 50. We didn't even catch 50 Pokemon since I got the fuckets after a while. <coughs> Alright. Let's head through the grass then. When suddenly, Pokemon battle. But we still have all our guys from post game. So there's really no point in fighting since I can one shot these guys no problem. But there's one really weird thing about the game. Now, if any of you remember, very early on, there was a cave. There was a cave that we couldn't go to. And it was pretty close to here, honestly. Except, it was past Mount Moon. And I don't want to go back to Mount Moon. Whoa, that's the wrong thing. Sorry, wrong person. <coughs> But, we can now select this. Access the Pokemon League's fight. Access the Hall of Fame list. And now we can see our guys in the Hall of Fame again. That's actually pretty cool if you ask me. Except for C. Fox. He can suck a dick. <laughs> he can suck Hitmonlee's cock. <laughs> Let's see. Now, I'm going to deposit Steve Fox, because fuck him. And I'll withdraw Zapdos. Ah, damn it. Let's see. Now... I don't know why I actually kept that on record. Like, why did I not just pause to do that? Seriously. Am I retarded? Or something. Like, wow. <coughs> Alright. Now then. We're back here. Our little cave's near here. And look at that. Remember how there was a guy blocking it before? Now there isn't. But how do we get to it? Well, let's see. Honestly, I don't know. Um, ugh. Fights. I should cut, I should have cut this out. I'm sorry. Well, not by going that way. Damn it! Let's see. But then, how do we get to it? Oh, fuck me, I put my bike away. Right. Shit, I forgot about that. Actually, does anyone know how to get to this place? I'm kind of lost. God, this is fucking annoying to get to. 
Here we go. <coughs> now we surf a long ass distance to get to this place. Let's hope it's worth it. And here we are. Cerulean Cave. This might not seem like much at first, but look at this. Level 52 Arbok. I mean, granted, we still have level 60s and such, but <coughs> still. I mean, we beat the Elite Four. What could a few stray wild Pokemon do? Eh, nothing much, I guess. Oh, it becomes a maze. Lovely. Also, Dodrio. This is something that's not encountered, as far as I'm aware, anywhere else in the game. Or at least in this release of it. I don't know if they changed that in Fire Red and Leaf Green. By the way, please don't ask me to do Fire Red and Leaf Green. I don't want to redo Kanto. I might do a special for the Sevi Islands. That that would be it. I, I don't want to deal with that. <sighs> also, we get to refight Marowak. Oh, but it's a ground type, so Joel doesn't do shits. Uh, how much does Swift do against them? I'm guessing not a whole lot. Nah, not really. Do do. <coughs> I wonder if Queen. I wonder if Nito Queen or. Uh, Chansey has more HP in Gen 1. I think it's... Ch I think Chansey does, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that was just getting terrible. Um... <clears throat> I'm switching Queen out in front since she has the most health. Because I really do want to just wall through these guys. Also, one of the only places we can find... <coughs> ah, damn. Let's see. Also, since Steve Fox can suck a dick, I'm going to train Zapdos up here a little because LOL. Max Elixir. Also, I really don't want to have to suffer through you guys, through you guys showing me, get, seeing me get lost. <clears throat> so I'm going to do everyone a favor and just use a map this time. Thundershock. <coughs> oh yeah, fun fact. In this generation, Zapdos only starts out with two moves. Drill Peck. And both of them really do just suck dicks against this guy. I mean, Drill Peck was actually pretty good. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to hate on Drill Peck. <clears throat> oh, let's see. What? Sorry, guys. That wasn't the one I wanted. Which, where is the one I wanted? Do, 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 do. <sighs> Okay. Uh, so, yeah. We want to go over this way and then down over here. Yeah, there's a lot of items we could collect here. Honestly, but nothing of really of any real importance. 
also right on. Oh, shit. Let me switch guys here. Also, expect this episode to be long since I intend to do um, everything for this place. It's a, it really is just one area, too, so, like, but, yeah, let's, ah, guys, no, didn't want to do it, guys, stop it, ooh, an ultra ball, now, I will warn you, wild Pokemon, wild Pokemon everywhere, However, also a place we can find- Jesus, fuck. Venomoth is the new Zubat, I swear to God. Like, Jesus, fuck. Really? Anyways. We're coming close to Mewtwo's lair now. Which means actually I want to switch my lead Pokemon. I want Dude Mantree to be the... Well, no. I'm not going to say that. Fuck. <sighs> Max Revive. Oh, thank God. Let's see. And Parasite. <sighs> Shit, man. And Chansey. But Earthquake rapes everything. Yeah, I use my little speed up buttons for fights here. Really, this place is full of wonderful little things you can kill. Ooh, what's that? Another Ultra Ball. They're all- ooh. You know, if you think about it, the fact that they're Ultra Balls scattered all over this place has some pretty interesting connotations. Now, I have a plan for Mewtwo. That didn't last long. <sighs> you see, for Mewtwo, I'm going to go up against him twice. And I'm going to save before I do... And I'm going to save before I go up against him, obviously, so that I can do this. In fact, there he is right there. You see, my first fight against Mewtwo... I'm just going... I'm going to fight him normally. <coughs> Just to show you guys how utterly broken this fucker is. And I do have a plan for doing it. <coughs> that is a really cool cry. Now yes, he does use the normal battle theme. There's no other theme associated to him. Not the gym leader. Not even the champion theme. Not not the trainer theme. Just the normal battle theme. Like of like the other three legendaries. You two use Swift. Queen use Toxic. And Mewtwo is badly poisoned. Now. <coughs> switch over to Dude Mantry. <coughs> I'm going to show that even with... Even with my mild knowledge of Smogin tactics, this guy can be devastating. 
Like, okay, Psychic, not very effective. Look at how much damage it did anyways. Oh, fuck, I forgot to fix his paralysis. However, Toxic... Toxic is just a bastard. But look at how insanely fast Mewtwo is. <coughs> However, it's still Gen 1. And he's still, it's still just a regular Pokemon fight. You know. Yes, he's a bastard, but he can be beaten. Here's how you're supposed to fight him. <laughs> and that, kids, is what the Master Ball is for. In Gen 1, the Master Ball is only useful for Mewtwo. Now, Mewtwo does have a very human-like height and weight. It was created by a scientist after years of horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments. <coughs> and now I won't give him a nickname. Mewtwo was transferred to Bill's PC. And that, kids, <coughs> is our Mewtwo special. Un <coughs> Until next time.